So, as you said, a Medfield-based tablet. This is made by Lenovo. This is pre-production, so it'll be on the market later this year. Um, this particular tablet is running an ice cream sandwich, and what we're really excited about is our collaboration with Google on Android. So late last summer, we you know, got started with Honeycomb. We've been moving very quickly over the last five months. Now we've got Ice Cream Sandwich. It booted up quickly in a few days, and uh, you know now, now we've got it kind of fairly optimized. So we've got the basic experience, I guess, from a widget tile standpoint. And then if you go into you know different apps that we have, we've got uh, this one shows some of the graphics capabilities of Medfield. Um, so we've got an application called Body, um, and this shows you know the human body, different forms. Um, you know, you can see muscles, skeleton, etc. So, if you want to look at a particular muscle, you can basically come in. So, it gives you a feel for the 2D, 3D acceleration. I'll also point out that this has uh, simultaneous encode, decode, and HD. It's good for video conferencing. Uh, we also have unique features, uh, NFC, as well as uh, wide eye. So, wide eye is our technology that allows for secure low latency transmission of display to other other uh, wow so that's going to work in android i will work in android yeah so um we just announced that we're going to be building that technology on the receiver side into right. samsung and lg tvs we'll be going out updating all at&t uverse boxes with that technology so you know we want to both build out the receiver side as well as the transmitter side today all uh, i believe this four i5 pcs have the capability and five and up so so that's what uh, we have here. I can show you uh, another app if you like games. Yes. Um, um, so we have Cut the Rope as well. So it's a popular app by Zepto Lab. So, um, so we're in the process of continuing to optimize Ice Cream Sandwich as well as bring uh, you know, some of the apps that need particular optimization over. Um, that said, most Android apps on the market today will work on this tablet untouched, the majority actually. What, type, what types of things, what types of optimizations do developers need to make or would they need to make uh, for Medfield? You know, it's, uh, it's really, really depends on what features you're leveraging. So if you're using some of that encode, decode capability that I talked about, there will be some optimization there. If you're leveraging as a developer the wide eye capability, there will be some optimization there. But the good news is we have our native development kit, NDK, uh, posted on the Android website. So we've already seen pretty good uptake by developers and it makes it much easier to leverage the goodness that we're building uh, as a part of this tablet. So, um, so I would say, you know, if you look at the 400,000 Android apps there, by far the majority doesn't require much other than, say, maybe screen size adjustments, things like that for the display. But beyond that, it's pretty straightforward. And then some portion of the apps will require some work to leverage the capabilities we offer.